Day 16, Healing Your Relationships Today you learn about releasing an old love, healing a broken relationship, and looking for a new love. Forgiveness is the miracle cure we have all been looking for. You probably feel much lighter and more beautiful today. Celebrate your freedom and surround yourself with love. Indeed, love is our topic for today. You may want to release an old love or heal a broken relationship, or maybe you are looking for a new love. I want you to look in your mirror right now. Do you see that wonderful and loving person looking back at you? This is the most important person you know, yourself. If you want to heal a relationship, the first relationship you need to improve is the one you have with yourself. Why would anyone want to be with you if you don't want to be with you? When you are happy with yourself, then all your other relationships improve too. A happy person is very attractive to others. If you are looking for more love, then you need to love yourself more. It is as simple as that. This means no criticism, no complaining, no blaming, no whining, and no choosing to feel lonely. It means being very content with yourself in the present moment and choosing to think thoughts that make you feel good now. There is no one way to experience love, for everyone experiences it in different ways. For some of us to really experience love, we need to feel love through being hugged and touched. Others need to hear the words, I love you. Still others need to see a demonstration of love, such as a gift of flowers. Often our preferred way of receiving love is the way we feel most comfortable demonstrating it in return. I suggest that you use your mirror and work on loving yourself continually every day. Say your loving affirmations every moment you can. Demonstrate the growing love you have for yourself. Treat yourself to romance and love. Pamper yourself. Show yourself how special you are. Life always mirrors back to us the feelings we have inside. As you develop your inner sense of love and romance, the right person to share your growing sense of intimacy will be attracted to you like a magnet. If you want to go from loneliness thinking to fulfillment thinking, then you need to create a loving mental atmosphere within and around you. Let any negative thoughts about love and romance fade away. Instead, think about sharing love, approval, and acceptance with everyone you meet. When you truly love who you are, you will stay centered, calm, and secure, and your relationships at home and at work will be wonderful. You will find yourself reacting to people and situations differently. Matters that were once desperately important to you will not seem quite as critical anymore. New people will enter your life, and perhaps some old ones will disappear. This may be scary at first, but it can also be refreshing and exciting. Remember, when you think joyous thoughts, you will be a happy person. Everyone will want to be with you, and all of your relationships will improve and flourish. Let's affirm, deep in the center of my being is an infinite well of love. I am love. Your Day 16 Mirror Work Exercise 1. Go back to your lesson on mirror work from Day 2. 2. Stand in front of your mirror. 3. Look deeply into your eyes and say these affirmations. I love you. I really love you. 4. Using your name this time, look deeply into your eyes and say, I love you name. I really love you. These affirmations are worth repeating over and over again. 5. If you are having trouble in your relationships, look into your eyes, breathe deeply, and say, I am willing to release the need for relationships that don't nourish and support me. Repeat this five times in the mirror, and each time you say it, give it more meaning. Think of specific relationships as you say it. The Power is Within You, Your Day 16 Journaling Exercise 1. In your journal, 
write about how you experienced love as a child. Did you observe your parents expressing love and affection? Were you raised with lots of hugs? In your family, was love hidden behind fighting, crying, or silence? 2. Write 10 affirmations of love and practice them in front of your mirror. Here are some examples. I am worthy of love. The more I open to love, the safer I am. Today, I remember that life loves me. I let love find me at the perfect time. 3. Write down 10 things that you love to do. Pick 5 and do them today. 4. Take several hours and pamper yourself. Buy yourself flowers. Treat yourself to a healthy meal. Show yourself how special you are. 5. Repeat step 3 every day this week. Your heart thought for day 16. I live in a circle of love. Envelop your family in a circle of love, whether family members are living or not. Broaden the circle to include your friends, your loved ones, your co-workers, everyone from your past, and all the people you would like to forgive but don't know how. Affirm that you have wonderful, harmonious relationships with them all, with respect and caring on both sides. Know that you can live with dignity and peace and joy. Let this circle of love envelop the entire planet and let your heart open so that you have a space within you for unconditional love. Your Day 16 Meditation Love is Healing Love is the most powerful healing force there is. Send everyone you know lots of comfort and acceptance and support and love. Be aware that as you send these thoughts out, you also receive them in return. Visualize a circle of love that embraces your family members, whether living or not, as well as friends, co-workers, and everyone from your past. Put yourself in the circle. You are worth loving. You are beautiful. You are powerful. Open yourself to all good and to the unconditional love within you. Affirm, I open myself to love. I am willing to love and be loved. I see myself prospering. I see myself healthy. I see myself creatively fulfilled. I have wonderful, harmonious relationships in which there is mutual respect and caring.